All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm taking a look at my uh, 2021 Chevy Silverado 2500 HD with the Duramax and 10-speed transmission. So I just want to, I, I did a previous video on kind of the build of this, some of the options that it has uh, before I got delivery of it. So I just took delivery of this a couple days, and I wanted to do just a walkthrough, just kind of an overview of this truck because it had a few surprises, good surprises that I wanted to show you. And I want to talk about the things I like, maybe a few things I don't like, especially if you're considering this trim. Now this is a 2021, this is the custom trim. The custom trim is kind of one of the, one of the lower trims. It's just right above the work truck. But with a few options, this has, I, th I think, sufficient options to really meet most people's needs. It does for mine. I didn't need, I didn't need a ton of bells and whistles. I didn't really care much about the, you know, leather or, you know, cooled seats or really a lot of the options you get with the higher trims. One of the main requirements I needed was I needed to have six seats. So with my wife and I, we have four kids. And if when we're taking this somewhere, you know, we need six seats. So I needed to have something that has, you know, the bench seat with the flip up seat. So there's a few things this has I want to share with you and kind of go through. So the custom trim can only be had on the 2500 platform. If you go to 3500, that's not an option. So it's kind of unique to the 2500 uh, truck line that you get the custom trim. And one thing I really like about it is just when you get on in black, all of the bumpers, front grille, rear, really, all the chrome is really deleted out. It's all black. The only chrome you have is just these letters on the side. So I'm going to get this pulled out of the garage and let's kind of go through some stuff. I want to show you, give you a walk around, especially if you're considering this trim, a few things you'd want to consider, a few options you'll want this to have to really make this a more comfortable truck. Okay, so here's just a quick walkthrough on this this truck. The front grille looks awesome. When it's all blacked out like this, the front grille, look, I think, looks really good. You got your hood scoop there. One thing that I didn't know, and it's kind of a pleasant surprise here, you see the headlight, They're, they are halogen headlights, so you're not getting LED lights at all, but see this trim inside here? It's carbon, it's like a carbon fiber look inside of the, the headlights here. And then same up here on the top. That's not a good angle here. You can kind of see right in there. That's, all, that's carbon carbon fiber trim so it's kind of a, kind of a nice touch there that that it has that the custom trim also gives you these 20 inch wheels they have the machine look with a gray face to them and then these Goodyear all-terrain tires I think they look pretty good for a stock tire I think they look good I don't have the I don't have the urge to like go out and try to replace these wheels and tires I think I'm gonna leave these on here for the for for quite a while So new for 2021 is you can get the Duramax and then the Allison 10-speed transmission in the custom trim. You couldn't do that in 2020, so that's kind of a new option for 2021. These mirrors, I, I really like these mirrors. The visibility is awesome out of these. It has a, a main mirror up top and then a blind spot mirror. Blind spots are non-existent in this thing. The, the, the mirrors really work great. They do extend out too. They manually extend for towing. So if I think I need two hands to be able to do that. But the nice thing too is they are power folding in. There's a button inside, they'll power fold in. So if you're parking or have a tight clearance, you can go right in there. I was I was uh, surprised about how tall this truck is. This tall, it's a big, wide, tall truck. I like that, but I it just seems like it, it is bigger than than previous years. You know, they've made this they've made the truck a little taller, a little wider, a little uh, bigger than previous years. So you see in the back here we have our, our blacked out bumpers. It's got the footstep right in here. Uh, Peterson Chevrolet. This is where I got this. They're in Boise, Idaho, and they were good to work with. Um, it doesn't have the trailer camera hookup, but it has your you know your four pin and your seven pin connection, your set your spare tire, and then it comes with the bigger receiver, and it does come with a sleeve to to be able to fit the two inch. The two inch receiver bars so you know if you ha I have one I'll be able to use that sleeve I thought that was a nice touch that they have that um, in the bed this has the power fold down bed so I push that button it folds down nice and soft I like the bed how they've they've made the bed they've really expanded the bed size and this has the option of the uh, the tail light the, or the, the bed lights in here they're connected to, so there's a button inside the cab. You push the button, it lights those up, and then 
those two lights up there. But one thing I've, I just figured out is if you push the key fob, if I hit the unlock on the key fob, it lights those up. So if you need to, get, if you just need to look inside the bed, you have a cover on, which I just installed a tonneau cover. This is a low pro. Uh, this is a uh, Truxedo cover. Uh, but if you need to see in the bed, it's night. Just hit the unlock button, and those automatically come on. This is the standard bed size. This, so this is like their shortest bed on the 2500. It's just the standard bed. It's six foot ten inches. And I really like that they're doing this step right here. This step is super convenient when you're trying to look inside the fuel bed. Fuel here. We have our diesel f uh, fill and then our our def fluid. So I like that they're right by each other. So if you pull up to a pump, you could pump in your def fluid and your diesel. And whether you knew this or not, this has the wider opening so it can fit those fast fill, you know, semi truck pumps. So some of those diesel pumps have the the bigger nozzles. You can fill up with those. Okay. Now these mirrors, if you see here on the outside of these mirrors, so they do they do telescope out for towing, but I didn't know what this little uh, light here was. But if if I push the you can see in here if I push the button right there that has that it turns on the lights in the bed well it turns these on as well and these are great for backing up so they're, they're kind of made to really shoot down you know to really project light all the way down the side of the truck towards the back so when you're towing or you're backing up a trailer this is perfect for those so that, that's a cool feature to have those backup kind of backup reverse uh, side lights to really give you some Give you a view down the side of your truck so that was a, that i think that, that was a cool feature i didn't know that they had that that wasn't included kind of on the build sheet at all okay so here's just under the hood this is our, our duramix 6.6 we've already had this on a little little off-road trip so we got a little dust under here but this this powertrain hasn't changed much uh 2017 is when they came out with this version of the motor and remained through 2021 obviously but uh it's super reliable I don't hear a lot of pro I don't hear of a lot of problems on these, so I'm glad that they ha have at least a trusted powertrain in here. It's not a brand new motor, so I'm not buying like the first year of a brand new motor. So it's a, kind of a tried and true tested motor that it has in here. This this Duramax. Okay, just a shot from the front here. Uh, let's jump inside. I want to go through some of the features inside. I want to go through the window sticker too, and just kind of show you. Uh, all right, just another shot from the front. It really looks really aggressive in all black. I really love the look of this thing. The thing looks great on the outside really like the look of this truck okay so let's go inside go through some of the interior options okay just for starters I just want to give you guys kind of a, a quick uh, some quick information on just a few things we're seeing right here so on this seat now this is pro probably one of my few complaints of this trim and there's really no way around it on this trim level other than going up to the LT version but it's a manual seat so the seat back is manual and then the only other adjustment is <clears throat> this lever here to move it back and forth. There's no height adjustment, so you can't make this higher or lower. And that's maybe one of the downsides, mainly because I'm just a shorter guy, and so I need a little bit more height to that. But there is a solution I found. On eBay, there's a guy selling these uh, spacers that you put under the seat. Uh, you can buy them in half-inch increments. I'm getting like a one-and-a-half-inch spacer kit. It was 50 bucks, and... You put that under the rails and it's going to lift it up an inch and a half. I think that's going to be perfect for me. So as long as I can get that worked out, I think I'll be very happy with this with the seat. Because once you get the seat where you want it, it doesn't matter whether whether it's electric or manual. Once you have it where you want it, you know it's. If you're the only person driving the truck, that's not that big of a deal if it's a manual seat or not. So just be aware that you don't get a height adjusting seat on this. Okay, over here on the door card, you do have your you know your lock unlock, door handle your window controls and then your mirror controls you do have lockout windows for the rear so if you want you don't want kids rolling down the windows in the back but even though you push that it still gives the driver full control which I'm glad that they did that some cars don't do that and then we have our you know four-way adjustable mirrors left and right and then they do power fold in so if I push this button here check us out here folds in Pretty cool. I'm glad that they do that. I'm glad they're power folding in, especially in tight spots. They are wide mirrors. Okay, jumping up here into the seat, over here on our left, 
this is where we have our tow haul mode selector. It's no longer on the end of the shift knob. There's nothing on the end of the shift the, the, the shifter. It's right here. So you just turn it once to get into tow haul mode. And then you have your transfer case, two high, four high, four low selector buttons. And then this is where I turn on the bed lights. So the bed lights and then there's lights up above on the tell on the, the brake light are right there. And then also when I push those, it lights up the mirror side lights. So that's that's where that button is there. I'm dimming my gauges and then my headlights, they have an auto switch, which is which is great. I'm just gonna leave that on auto. I'm not sure what this this one does right here. When I push this, there's it almost looks like it's a like it's the bed light, but I don't know what that does yet, and I don't know if it does anything because <clears throat> this doesn't have the fog light, so maybe that's the fog light switch that's not activated. I don't know. If you know what that is, let me know in the comments below. Okay, now to our gauge cluster, pretty standard gauge cluster. You know, you have all your analog gauges. You have your RPM, oil pressure, temperature, battery, and fuel right there. And then your your RPMs, your tachometer there. You do get a diagonal. We get a little driver information screen, which with the package that uh, this has, which let me show you real quick the package. So we're looking here at our window sticker. Okay, the options and pricing. So it only has three packages. It has the Duramax, the custom value. The custom value I think is the the package that you should you should look at having on this. You know, it gives you the remote start window defogger, LED bed cargo lighting, the power lift gate, you know, the, the, the tailgate can be released from inside here with a push of a button. You can release it there. And on the key fob, we have the key fob that will um, release the tailgate as well. So I think that's a great feature. Trailering mirrors, heated and power adjustable. And then this also has what's called the safety confidence package, which gives you the forward collision alert, automatic emergency braking, steering wheel controls, and the driver driver info center, which that 4.2 inch is that one right there. Okay, on the key fob, you have the tailgate. You hit it twice, you drop the tailgate, and you can do it here. It won't lift up. You have to. I think you have to get LTZ trim to be able to get the the tailgate to lift up on its own. The tailgate's surprisingly light for its size, so it's not a problem having to do that. Okay, so this is, I was just showing you all the options here. Uh, I think you'd want to have this custom value package and this this safety and confidence package. Mine also has this uh, trailering wiring provision. This is like pre-wired in the bed for your fifth wheel gooseneck hookup. We'll go through the, uh, I went through the pricing on the last video. I won't go through that now. But, okay, a few things I was, uh, th that I like, I mean, the, you, you have a basic screen here. This is not the 8-inch screen. It's a little bit less than the 8-inch screen. The buttons are very simple. It's, it is touch screen. You know, you have a home button. You've got your phone button, you know, forward and reverse tracks, and then your power button. The climate control is super easy, super straightforward, nothing fancy on the climate control. You've got your fan speed, your temperature control, and then, you know, you got your directional your defrost, max defrost, rear defrost, AC, and recirculating button there. So pretty simple. I'm I'm actually not missing. I don't I don't need or hardly ever use the you know dual climate control. You know I always have it just on sync anyways, and so I'm not going to miss ha not having dual climate controls. That's not that's not going to be an issue for me. So be aware that this is how this is set up. It's simple. It's 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 easy to use. It's simple. I, I like it. Now for these buttons here, with the Duramax engine option, you get the exhaust brake included. Here's your drop in your tailgate, your hazards, traction control. This button here, I was surprised that this had this, and I'm glad that it does. If I push this once, all the windows go down. All four windows drop down, which on a hot day, if it's really hot, you want to you know, air the, you know, get all the hot air out of the, out of the car or whatever it is. You just push that, they all drop down. They don't, there's no way to get them all up at once. You do have to manually do the, the buttons on the, the driver door to get those up. But it's nice that that's optional. I didn't know that was going to be an option on there. Here along the bottom we have our trailer brake controller. This is a great location for this. USB-C, USB-A, 
plug-ins and then we have a 12 volt socket you know we can put another we can put some more USB uh, adapters in here now there's no power in the back so if I wanted to you know if I wanted rear passengers to have power I could you know I could run a cable from here to the back that wouldn't be that big of a problem I um, mean this does not have the the 120 volt inverter option so there's no plug in there which I've had it on my last couple trucks and I've never used it so I'm not I, I have I have a I have a 12 volt inverter I can plug in here if I need to so that's not going to be missed that much got our, our our glove box over here and then on our passenger side our window and our door locks control there so pretty basic pretty pretty standard stuff one thing I was a little surprised with too is that I, I saw some reviews of the 2020 custom trim and this didn't come up for storage but I'm happy to report that this does this is an option in 2020 and now it's not an option it's actually standard if we look at the window sticker this is a standard so the front bench seat with covered armrest storage so it is a standard option for 2021 so I'm glad that it has this it doesn't have power you know there's no power adapter in there which I don't I don't really you know I got them there that's no problem it's got a nice phone holder right here with kind of a, a, a no slip pad so that's great there and then the armrest part here is kind of a vinyl I don't think this is leather I think it's just a vinyl material but it's really soft and really comfortable on my elbow when I'm you know when I'm driving so it's got a nice I really like that and then it's got a few little pockets here you know cup holders a few little pockets to keep things right there okay with this being kind of the bench seat option it, this just pulls up. I like that there's a little handle right here. It's easy to get this up. And they now do a, I know in my 17 and 14 Silverado 1500s, there was just a lap belt. I really like that they're doing now a shoulder belt. So it's really gonna make having a passenger sit here a lot safer. There's no storage under this. This this doesn't have storage underneath that, which I'm not, that, I'm not gonna really miss that. That's not that big of a deal. I do like that it has this little loop right here you just pull it and then you can pull the whole thing down one-handed that's much easier than what Ford does and I really I really like that so we've got this six it's six-seater vehicle now back to the steering wheel controls so the safety and confidence package is giving me the audio controls here and it's giving this forward collision alert which is great uh, so the steering wheel controls the audio like volume up and down they're actually behind the wheel and the, moving the tracks that are behind the wheel as well. It took me a day to learn that. And I know I was trying to figure out how to change the volume on this, but it's behind the wheel. Now, one thing I wanted to point out is you don't get a leather wrap steering wheel. If you can see up close here, it's kind of a kind of a harder material. It's not very soft. It's kind of like a hard, it's not plastic, but it's, it's like a hard foam. Uh, it doesn't have a great feeling to the steering wheel. So that's probably one of my only other complaints of this custom trim is you don't get a leather wrap steering wheel now stay tuned to the next video i just found one on ebay a leather wrap steering wheel off of an at4 that's got the heated option and i'm going to swap that over so the only two complaints i have about this trim is i pointed this out earlier the seat doesn't move up and the steering wheel just doesn't have a great feel to it it just it it, it you know, you're, this is the one thing you're constantly touching, but it's a, there's a simple solution to that. I, I bought a new wheel. I'm going to swap that in, and the leather just has a, a much nicer, softer feel on your hands and, a, and a, kind of a much better look. So that I found for like 200 bucks on eBay. So for very little money, you can you can I'm I'm going to fix the the only two things I have complaints about this this trim, and then it'll be great. Let's I'm going to turn the the truck on and. We'll go through this screen and some of the screens. Okay, you do get a standard key, which that's fine. I'm, I don't, I'm not, I don't need the, the push button start here. This diesel idles very quietly. Like it's, you can when you're just sitting here idling, you can't really hear it. When you're cruising on the highway, you can barely hear it. When you get on the pedal, though, you know it does rev up. Those turbos spool up, and you can hear that. But with the safety and confidence package, you get this screen here, and it's controllable with this kind of touch screen here. So you got your side-to-side -side menu. So I push over here. There's a home. You see the, see the little home icon at the top? Home. There's an info button. 
and then you can set up the thing. So if I go into info, let me zoom in on this here. So I've driven, let's see, 747 miles so far. Um, yeah, I can I can scroll through the different trips. This is, you know, I've averaged 16.6 .6 miles of the gallon. It'll probably get a little better once I get this thing broken in. Uh, like fuel range. So I'm just scrolling through this. I'm just scrolling through this little button right here. I'm just going through fuel range, oil life. It gives you your tire pressures, air filter, brake pad life, fuel economy over the last 50 miles. Um, that was mainly highway driving. You can reset that. Fuel filter life. Your def tank. And kind of an info page. So that's kind of a cool little, you have a nice feature there. That's why I recommend that safety confidence package. It gives you that little screen. It gives you the ability to control that here. And you're getting the audio controls. And this isn't left blank. If you don't get this package, this side of the steering wheel is left blank. And it looks kind of odd that you have nothing, nothing right there. So there's some, all of the features that you want. When you're on the home screen, so if I go, if I, if I use these buttons here to go left and right, if I go to the home, so I just go left here over to the home. It defaults to give you my miles per hour and my fuel range, 530 miles left on my fuel tank range. So I think it's cool that that's like the default home option because those are the two things I'm usually concerned about. You know, how fast am I going? How long do I have till I have to fill up again? Okay, now if we go over here to the uh, the screen, the screen against like it is touch screen. So there's a couple menus here to, to look through. One thing that's nice is you do have a camera. You can look at the camera while you're driving and you can have the the grid lines or you can have the trailer backup so you have a line that lines you up to your hips so you have either or but you can turn that on while you're driving and just kind of check your check your load which is still only stay on for about 20 seconds but i thought that was a cool feature pretty basic here it has car wi-fi most chevys do you know gm products have your wi-fi you sign up for that to have wi-fi um, apple carplay that's really all that all you need to have on an infotainment system. If you have an Apple phone or Android Auto, if you have those systems, you know, run everything from your phone. But it was cool to learn that this has this trailer light option. If you go into here, it's going to go, cycle through all of your trailer lights while you're outside of the vehicle, so you can do it just with one person, check all your lights, not have to have two people to check your lights. I thought that was a, a cool option. So pretty basic screen there. Your audio options, you know, you obviously have, you know, XM radio, You've got, uh, yeah, Sirius XM, Bluetooth, at AM, FM. Pretty simple. And your home button there. You have your home button, your phone button. When you hook it up, when you hook it up, uh, Bluetooth, that's, your, that's your, your phone button there. You also have your phone buttons here on the, um, the steering wheel control as well. So you can hang up there, voice command. Your cruise control is pretty simple. I really like the cruise control. It's just simple, you know. Set, you push down. Resume is up. This is how you turn it on and off. When you leave it, when you hit it, have it on, it just automatically stays on. That's that's my icon that tells me that it's always on. So you only have to push that once and it just stays on all the time. And then this is how I cancel. If I want to cancel this, the cruise and then up to resume. So simple, simple controls for the cruise. And then here's my windshield wipers. They're manual wipers. You know, I just click, you know, click up to adjust the speed. And then my windshield washer fluid sprayer is just this little button right here on the stock so it's no longer on the on the end it's right here in the middle up top here there's nothing fancy up here it's just my dome on and off and then i can turn all of my interior lights on with that they're also push button individually as well and then there's two in the rear there's no sunglass holder there's no uh, garage door opener which i just use my regular opener and a sunglass holder here anyway so i'm i i think it's this has got sufficient um, options. It does have the um, auto dimming mirror, so if you have bright lights behind you, it's gonna it's gonna dim those down. So I'm glad it has that. But otherwise, the interior is pretty basic. I mean, it's got the hard plastic dash, which I don't touch the dash that much, so it's not. I'm not. It looks. I think it looks good how it is. I I don't think I need to pay more for a higher option vehicle that's got leather wrapped and stitched the dash at all. You know, this is a truck. This is going to be used for, like, you know, pulling stuff, you know, just using on a regular basis. So, you know, the, the dash is fine. I really like that. So that's pretty much an overview of all of the uh, options features. It does have the electric park brake here on and off. 
hood release switch down there. Okay, real quick, I wanted to show you the back seat. One thing I wasn't sure on in this vehicle is whether or not these back seats flipped up. They do. So you have the two seats on the driver's side flip up, the, then the single one on the passenger side flips up as well. You have a pretty flat floor. These are the, these are the Chevy uh, floor mats that I got. I got these after the fact, but I just put these in. Um, one thing I wanted to show you, though, so you don't have any kind of charging ability, which th that can be wired in. That's not an issue. But I was I was happy to see they have vents back here in the rear. So, you know, with this middle seat up, it kind of blocks the airflow. The nice thing is you do have, even though they are small and they are towards the ground, I, I was I am happy to see that you have some air vents for your rear passengers back here. So it's going to help the airflow. So that's real a real nice feature. I haven't seen on uh, any of the 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 Fords or the Chevys up until this point that they have those vents for rear passengers on that on that option. Usually only see that if you have the uh, you know the bucket seats and you have the center console there. So that's the back seat, pretty pretty basic, pretty standard. You know, you don't have the rear storage pockets in the back of the seats, which I'm kind of glad cuz all my kids do is just shove garbage and stuff down there and it's, you know, not not very helpful. So all you have here, you know, window and door handle. So pretty basic in the back seat. But pretty basic trim. So with I, those two packages, like I was saying, it, I think you want you'd want to consider if you're considering the custom trim. Get the custom value package. Get the safety confidence. And there's a couple other things you can get. You can get gooseneck uh, fifth wheel set up in in the bed already. Uh, there's a few other things you can add, but there's not a lot of options on the custom trim. So I'm. It, it's kind of nice that there's not like you know hundreds of things to choose from. There's just a handful of options on this. Um, pricing on this vehicle, sticker price fifty seven nine forty. Now I got this. I live in northern Utah. I bought this in Boise, Idaho, from Peterson Chevrolet. They were they were they were fine to work with. I have no complaints there. Um, I I they they gave it. They had a thousand dollars off the MSRP, which. No place in Utah was doing that. Places in Colorado was at, were adding, you know, two to five thousand dollars on on top of MSRP. I did. I wanted to pay obviously as little as possible. So really, fifty six nine forty was the purchase price. You know, there was a dock fee and title fee and then taxes on top of that. But you know, um, I wanted to be under sixty thousand dollars for a vehicle. This one, this one really accomplished that, and really has all the options that I need. And not a lot of extra, you know, not, not a lot of extra things that I'm paying for that I won't really need. So I think this is a this is a great value as far as package is concerned. Um, you know, I bought this during COVID. You know, it's 2021, July of 2021. Inventory is super tight right now with the you know, with like the chip shortage and inventories. But there's from what I hear, there you don't get it. There's not a ton of incentives or rebates on the heavy duty trucks anyway. So. I don't feel I overpaid too much for this truck during this time. Uh, where you can overpay right now, I think, is for used vehicles. Used, used vehicle prices are, you know, inflated. And so going with a new one, if you can find one, might be a better deal because it's not going to be as inflated. So um, anyways, just kind of my thoughts there. But that's the truck, uh, you know, really just an overview of the truck. I'm super happy with it. I really like it. I'm, I love the way it looks. I'm happy with the trim. Again, I got a few few modifications I'm going to do to really just kind of address a few of the concerns I have, and after that, it's going to be it's going to be really good. It'll be a great truck for me. So, anyways, thanks for watching the, the video. Be sure to hit that thumbs up. Leave some comments if you have any questions. I'm going to do some driving videos, some towing videos uh, over the next couple of weeks. So stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for the steering wheel swap as well. So hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Thank you.